growing up in South Florida, okay, in the 50s and the 60s, uh, 1950s, 1960s, for that 100 year thing, okay, that you're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, they shot um, Thunderball there, they shot uh, Hole in the Head, Frank Sinatra, Jerry Lewis uh, did The Bellboy. So there was some film production in Miami. Ivan Tours had a studio. He was making Flipper, the television show. There were some commercials being shot. But to be honest with you, um, I didn't know that you could, you could do that for a living. I, I honestly didn't know that you could be in the movie business and, and do it as a living. I, it just never occurred to me that that was an option, okay? And it's interesting that my grandfather was first cousins with Ed G, Edward G. Robinson, and my father's uh, cousin married Louis, uh, uh, married Harry Cohn from Columbia Pictures. So it wasn't like there wasn't an understanding from them that people did that for a living. But for me, I was sort of on a track to be, um, probably should have been on a track to be a lawyer, but I think my parents wanted me to be a doctor, which is totally wrong for me. Lawyer would have been okay, doctor not good. So I never really, it never really occurred to me, okay, that you could do that for a living, okay? Um, Vietnam is raging and I decide that I want to make propaganda films against the war in Vietnam, okay? But I need to learn how to make films to make propaganda films against the war in Vietnam. So I applied to um, San Francisco State I applied to uh, UCLA and I applied to NYU. Uh, at the time, interestingly enough, I uh, started at Emory University in pre-med. I left there, I, uh, I left there. Um, and then I, uh, I spent a, a semester or two at the University of Florida and then I transferred to NYU where I graduated. Um, uh, during that time I was at uh, NYU, uh, the war, thank God, uh, was winding down. And uh, due to the curriculum that we had to study in terms of film history, um, uh, both uh, European and Hollywood, and you know, I studied the new wave and I studied uh, Italian neorealism and German expressionism and, you know, very, very versed in Eisenstein and Podovkin and, you know, going back to the Lumiere brothers and George, uh, George Billier, um, Edwin S. Porter, the great train robbery. So I, I you know, I, I had a lot of scholarship uh, with regard to film while I was at film school. So I discovered it as an art form. Um, and then a light came on that uh, better to be working in Hollywood than working in New York if you want to be in the film business because there was more opportunity. Um, so that's kind of a nutshell about how all that happened.